Viewer discretion is advised. Does giving people paid time off from work really make a difference? I mean, yes, the US is the only developed country to not have a national paid sick leave standard, but I don't really see why that matters. We don't like to take time off from work to care for our health or the health of our families because we love working every waking moment of our lives just that much. It's the only thing that really matters to us. It's not because we can't afford to take time off for fear of not being able to pay our bills or don't feel like we can because of repercussions from employees lawyers who pressure us to work regardless of how sick we may be or how sick a close family member may be because everyone, even those working on the front lines, many in lower paying service jobs, can easily take an afternoon off and the lost wages won't really affect them. No problem whatsoever. Because if there's anyone who knows about the conditions those with frontline jobs with little or no flexibility are facing, it's people with jobs that subject them to none of these same conditions. It's important also to consider this from the perspective of a patron and consumer. Don't you want the comfort of going into a business and knowing many of the people working there may be sick because their employers won't give them paid time off? I know I do. Now, of course, there was a federal requirement that employers provide paid sick leave but that only applied from April to December 2020. But that doesn't really matter anyway. Actually, it's a good thing. This should really have been left up to individual employers anyway, because profit-driven employers always do the right thing by their employees and always think of the long-term negative impacts of their decisions. I mean, in the absence of a national standard that provides these basic protections to everyone, employers aren't going to take advantage by offering no paid leave or lowering what little amount they do offer their employees? That would never, never happen. And it's not like a national paid sick leave policy would level the playing field for everyone and relieve pressure from both workers and employers because everyone would be operating under the same basic standards. So with these carefully considered and well-reasoned arguments, I'm sure you will agree that I've definitively proven that paid sick leave is dumb and we just don't need it in America. We just don't want it. Because it's already quite clear that the health and well-being of you and your family is universally considered to be the number one priority, unless it costs your employer a little money. Then it's the number two priority. Or there's a staffing shortage. Then I guess it's the number three priority. Though so any simple scheduling conflict, self-imposed project deadline, any other type of work-related demand would also take priority. Then it's the number four or five, maybe six. Well, I guess if it inconveniences your employer in any way, it moves down the list of priorities. Oh well, health and well-being is on the list of priorities somewhere. I guarantee it. We don't care. The positions outlined in this video are not endorsed by Dr. Brandon Sullivan in any way.